Wait. I know what to do. Wrong thing. Right. Picnic. There's so much space for your Pokemon, there's not so much place for you. God damn it. What the fuck, bookworm? <laughs> Where... Yeah, well, well, it didn't flip. <laughs> but... All right, if I remember correctly, Illumise is a bug Pokemon. power for bug. That's all I need to do. <clears throat> Fighting ground. Fighting dragon. Electric. Dark. Steel. Bug. Counter bug. Here we go. And it's also level two. somehow balance everything in here. That is the <laughs> really bad fucking sandwich. It's okay. It was made with love. Probably. Now, if it does go bad, I have to remake it. Also, how does it eating a sandwich make bugs appear? Wait a minute. Ultra potato salad sandwich, three stars. Counter bug, level two, good. Very. Yes. Now, the loom eyes should appear. Because now. Fields. Like, no offense, I, but this wouldn't be the first time the game lied to you. There. 
thought it was a regional variant, but apparently not. Not regional variant, like... Fucking version exclusive. Because usually it is in other games. <gasps> there you are! Motherfucker, get over here! There we go. Fucking Illumise, bitch. Oh, that's one you don't have. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Curl Firefly, yeah. Illumise, the Firefly Pokemon. It guides Fullbeat to draw signs in this night sky. There are scholars who research the meaning of these signs. where I just bring bugs. Your sandwich smell brings all the bugs to the yard. It's a four star. And it's gonna be ice. I'm gonna try this. The Grand Inferno is especially good with ice, and they're level 100. So let's see if Grand Inferno can take this down. So this is a Pokemon I need. If I load, we we just got a white screen. <laughs> there we go. Can you hear everything just fine, Pokemon? I think that's a yes. Or a level of panda. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Granted, just beat the living fuck out of this beast. Oh, yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. Yeah, that was a good one. Apex, <laughs> Ooh, thank you. Fuck your shield, bitch. Your, your mind. Now I can be captured. Go, regular Pokeball. Got it. Get a Pokedex entry or... Yep, there we go. Rabombi. The bee fly Pokemon. Pollen puffs created by a skilled Rabombi can relieve fatigue, making the puffs a popular commodity. And also great for people who have narcolepsy. You are the last part. <laughs> I 
think I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna try and challenge one more. Then head to where I'm supposed to go. <laughs> Get right for a pump. So this is gonna be dark. Fuck it, like we're throwing the chunk in there. What level is the chunk even? Uh, above Eris. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> we all hail the chunk. Just gonna poison the darkness. Yes. Nose pass. <laughs> and there's two people with helmets. <laughs> oh, there's two chunks. There's two of them. I guess I'll help the chunk. Oh, hail the chunk. Oh, Earthquake's effective. They're very effective. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Don't doubt the power of the chunk. Well, we're trying to doubt the chunk. Holy hell. <laughs> I don't think I have this. Yep, I didn't have Nose Pass. Nose Pass, the compass Pokemon. When endangered, it may protect itself by increasing its magnetism and drawing nearby iron objects to its body. So I need to go back to the road. Now it's showing the loom eyes more frequently. Fuck you, game. The game kind of gave you the middle finger there, didn't it? Oh, I'm going the opposite direction. <laughs> Where am I supposed to be going? I think you did that because you were making upset at the game. Ooh, there's a special point one up there. Super speed! It's just fall picks. I already have a fall picks. Super speed! Oh god. Fucking lag. Super speed! Aw, oh, Duskull. 
Oh. Okay. And there we go. Will the game actually let you buy a map? Probably. Ooh, I wonder if I can get a mask that looks like similar to 035. Huh? I think you'll only be able to get masks of, uh, Pokemon. Oh. Oh! It's a Pokemon. I think it's the quote-unquote ogre. Very short. <laughs> this is the festival of mass. Today is just the first day. Don't keep going for a while. Okay, you don't have any festivals this big over in Paldea or wherever. Why? Fuck you. Oh no. Guess it's so incredible you're at a loss for words, huh? It's not that big. It's okay, Aaron Bright. Just ignore her. I'll snap a photo so you can remember this amazing night forever. Give me a roto stick for a set. No, stay away from my stick. She's grabbing your stick whether you like it or not. <laughs> this is... A bookworm, do not clip that. <laughs> come, come on, you two. Scooch in closer. <laughs> I need to quote myself in, in 18 plus, aren't I? Yeah. Ow, you're stepping my toes, sis. Oh, stop complaining. This will only take a second. Okay, you all, are you all ready? Say, Chansey. Now that's what I call a nice festival vibe. I didn't even get to see the picture. Festival of Mass is held so we can honor the loyal three, the brave heroes of Kitagami. The loyal three are the Pokemon that once protected this land from the evil ogre, you know. Most of the kids in town wear masks of the loyal three, like me. Did I mention there are heroes? <laughs> what are you laughing at? N nothing. I was just thinking it's funny that, like, you don't know anything about the yoga. W what? I know the legends of Kitagami better than anybody. Pretty good to for you to laugh at your big sis. Sorry. Kiki's still a little baby, so of course he thinks he's some kind of ter terrible monster's cool. He likes the ogre more than the loyal three. Oh look! Uh, oh wait! Oh look! They've got candy apples. Let's go check out the stars. To be fair, candy apples are awesome. I actually had a candy apple before, and it, at first I didn't think it would taste that great, but it, it was pretty good. Basically, um, they took marshmallows wrapped around the caramel, then put uh, Reese's Cups peanut butter around it, and then chocolate. It, That's a caramel apple, but those are good too. Yeah, like it had caramel at the... At, before all of that, but you know. I know. Oh, yeah. that's right. Candy apple. Is a, yeah, candy apple is where it has a thin or thick. It it doesn't matter what thickness the candy is, just has to have a candy outer coating. Although right. I think if it's too thick, then it's too hard to bite into. But if it's too thin, it's too brittle. So it's a pretty hard to get the right consistency. Yeah. Where's Can you buy a map? Oh, 
one's at the stall. God damn it, no one's at the stall, so I can't even get a mask. Maybe if you talk to enough people, you'll get a... Hey, 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 excuse me, two, two candy apples, please. You got two candy apples coming right up. Um, here, Aaron Bright, you, you can have one. Thanks. You're making me some pocket money, so it's no big deal. I love candy apples. You don't get to eat them every day, you know. Grandma always just makes us mochi as a snack. There's even a Pokemon that keeps going that looks like a little old candy apple. Did you know that? Hey, let's check that out over there. Does that mean the can the apple dragon variant uh, looks like a candied apple dragon? That sounds amazing. I actually remember what it looks like, but I'm not going to say anything, so I don't want you getting spoiled. <laughs> uh, it, it, can you, can you sh shut up? Oh, wait, that's not who I'm supposed to be talking to. Where the fuck did he go? Why is he there just a kid standing way over here in front of a football? Can you keep a secret? This is a, there's this stuff you pose for when you want to be, like, secretive. Everyone's doing it lately. You are in the shh emote from a local kid. <laughs> what the fuck? Now you have another stupid pose. Oh yeah, bookworm. What is your opinion on selfie sticks? Me and Jerry both think they're pointless. <laughs> Where the f is he? He ran off somewhere, and I don't know where he went. Hmm. They're all right, I guess. So literally everyone you can find down there. Well, he ran off in this direction. So he's got to be around here somewhere. Maybe he's up there. In the main building? You? Can't even communicate with you. Okay. Mm -hmm. Go up here. You should check out a fest before you go. Nope. They didn't leave the area. We'll show on the map. No. <laughs> The only thing I know is that they have an oh. ogre mask. So. I looked up how to get a mask. It says you can buy uh, masks from the vendor at the hall after doing the story event during the teal mask DLC. Uh, step right up for a game of ogre ousted. So you want to have a go? Sure. One of those kids that came all the way from Paldea, right? I can very well take money from a guest. Have a go on the house. Oh, you, you're gonna try it, Aaron I'll, uh, I'll cheer you on from a safe distance. Okay, what the fuck is this game? You're up for a run of Ogre Alston, huh? Oh, I did one just now. It was pretty easy. For me, that is. Fuck you. My score was 6,390. Think you can do better? Go get her, Aaron Brat. It's literally your first time playing it. 
I don't even know what the fuck I'm supposed to be doing. And black screen. I guess that's what you're doing. Sorry. Oh, there. there. Oh, what the fuck? Okay, that's an interesting game. It's been passed down in Missouri Town since long ago. Gather up berries and bring them to the berry tables and try to earn yourself a high score. Okay. Berries needed two for two. Grab a bunch of you. Okay, got you done. Where's Gray? Where's Gray? Where's Gray? Oh, I see. I see where Gray is. God damn it, I actually jumped. Now, where's the tables? Wait a minute, where the fuck are the tables at? I do not know. Oh, there they are. Nice berry. Bam! Cleared, bitches! Stage one. Alright, we got this. Stage two. Do I get to keep the berries from the previous round? Very unlikely. Nope. I'm done with you. I mean, this isn't very fair because Mariah is pretty fast. <laughs> See some more. Definitely easy. Nice drifting there. Thanks, Pippa. Just remember, if you don't beat that one lady's force, it's gonna be a total jerk to you. Boom. <laughs> Stage two completed. Eight, seven, seven, eight. Plus, they do give you a lot of time. They gave me even more time. This is this is easy. I can literally just take it easy. But I'm not going to. Morning, it'll become harder as you go further. Still got good amount of time. And you know where the red is now. <laughs> Too easy. Oh, I think that's it. Aww. Now, what's my score? 6129. Keep playing? I just got a bunch of. I can't. I got a bunch oh. of mochi. <laughs> Oh, 
we'll see what, now we'll see what she says. I think that was a bit short. We'll find out. Now some fine dashing about. Let's see now, you scored 6,129 points, so here's your prize. An experience charm. By having one of these charms increases experience points your Pokemon get, a strange and stretchy charm that encourages growth. I, Carmine, Masui's reigning champion of Ogre Balloon Busting, have triumphed. I really want to have another go to deliver a crushing final defeat the killer score. But I don't have much pocket money left. Kiki, you go serve Aaron Brad's sound defeat for me. No. What's that? You're taking the side of an outsider over your own sister? That makes me so annoyed. I think I'm about I'm gonna black out. Good, do so. Ugh, sorry, she's causing such a scene. Don't worry, I deal with it. Why don't you go wander around a bit in the meantime? Can you play the game again? Only in a harder Oh! oh that's more important. Hey, you want friends? All right, motherfucker. I'm gonna catch your ass. Yeah, I see you. You're very adorable. I think you want friends. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Mysterious child is staring at you from behind their mask. Are you enjoying the festival? Ponyo. <laughs> hey, Aaron Brad. Listen to this, it's nuts. Kiki's no use at all. Zero talent for ouster ogres. I'm telling you. Good job, bitch. Hey, who was that? Wait, Aaron Brett, you shouldn't run off on your own. Hey, new kid, that goes for you too. dangerous at night. It's scared. I think her brace of personality is very bad for Pokemon. Mm -hmm. You found the teal mask. Teal mask painted with the face of an ogre. Ogre pawn dropped it while fleeing up the stairs after visiting the festival of masks. <laughs> yeah, Bogus says, well, now you have a mask, right? <laughs> well, it's someone else's mask, though. Who was that? Where did that kid come from? Is that a Pokemon? What are you talking about? Wait, do you mean the kid we just saw? They ran off toward the mountain. Could that have been the ogre from the story on all the signboards? Are you saying the story was true? I mean, they did drop a mask, so they really must be. And Brad, sis! What are you guys doing over here? There was an ogre here. Wait. Hey. Wait, 
That's so sad. But what? Why are you yelling all of a sudden, sis? It's nothing. It's nothing you'd be interested in, uh, in at all, I swear. She's lying. Huh. I get it. I bet you're making fun of me behind my back. I'm just gonna head back to the festival. Whew. At least you didn't figure out what we were really talking about. You're a horrible person. Don't scare me like that. Blabbing for a whole world to hear. Don't you have any filter? See, Kiki really likes the ogre. Like, really, really, really likes it. So we found out we've seen the ogre without him. I guess I was afraid he would feel bad, you know? Feel left out or something? Am I overthinking it? Bright has no filter. You'll learn that soon enough. <laughs> no, hold up, bookworm. I do have a filter. It just has holes in it. <laughs> That's not a filter! <laughs> it was once a filter! Sads. I didn't want him running up the mountain to fall that the ogre at this hour either. Well, in any case, we already lied about it, and that's that. Let's keep this whole thing a little secret, okay? You're the one who lied, not Aaron. Don't bring her into your fucking shit. And maybe hold off showing Kiki that mask you just picked up, too. You know what I see why you hate her? Yeah. <laughs> it's okay, I'll have Lemon Eater. I don't think Lemon can actually eat her. Well, it depends on the type of eating. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What? <laughs> I'm sorry. You really have no filter, do you? I got bonked. <laughs> and why, Bright? <laughs> you know why. Had <laughs> enough of the festival? Yes. Well then, guess we should head home. I'll walk you back to the community center. Good, now I can finally explore the night and see if there's any ghost type with my don't have. Oh, god damn it. Mm. The story is not up. I guess put the mask on. I don't think I can. Try? I think it's a Pokemon item to use it in order to get the Pokemon. Oh. I bet. <laughs> there you are. I'm Aaron and back. Just because we didn't agree. Oh, God damn it! So, uh, you see, I wanted to talk to you a bit. You haven't told anyone about the, you know, the thing that happened yesterday, right? Uh, I mean, there's totally not two people listening to what I'm talking about right now. I'm not exactly the Keeper of Secrets. <laughs> None of us are a Chamber of Secrets, so fuck you. <laughs> I blabbed it on in the entire internet. Everyone knows. <laughs> Ask what thing? Oh shit. Better not be lying. If I find out you blabbed, I'm gonna make you swallow a coughing hole. Promise? Oh man. <laughs> Sorry. What a psycho bitch! <laughs> You see that thing we picked up at the stairs, right? My grandpa knows all, a whole lot about the village history. We should go talk to him about what happened yesterday. You know where my house is, right? See you there. Don't keep me waiting. Let's show grandpa the, you know, 
the thing we found. Also, prank coughing would poison you. Kinky. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're not sorry. No, I guess someone could be a fan. <laughs> Buy clothing. I can actually change my look. I can only get socks and gloves. Okay, what's the socks look like? Oh. Not that impressive. It, the only difference is that little teeny sliver changes color. Are you kidding That's me? stupid. Yeah, it is. Yeah. This is still Scarlet and Violet. Oh wow, they have a huge assortment of shit. <laughs> but I don't need anything. I wanted to see if there was a salon. A salon? Yeah. To change your hairstyle or? Change my look, yeah. I wanted to see if I can copy my look from, from a Pokemon Sword, you know, the horrifying one. Oh. What's the service here? Open the bag. If you open your bag and whatnot while you've been in here, you might notice that the thing with upper and lower borders of your screen and some menu now changes. Yeah, your location. Okay, whatever. I was hoping they would reveal, like, the salon. I'm sorry, this is a small town. Small towns don't have salons. <laughs> oh, wait, Bogus says, also, wait, you're gonna have your sock. You wear socks with your sandals? Shutters says. <laughs> Why is there no way to talk? Oh, wait a minute. I should change the way I look. I didn't know you can change the way you look in your menu. Well, I guess you are your own salon. Wait, I'm, not, I'm wondering how they do it, because I don't know how they did that in the video thing I was watching. How the fuck did they do that? 
Okay, so it must be a certain button. You have to go to Paldea to change your hair. That, okay, so. You know what, I'm probably just gonna have to wait till Paldea then. No salons in Kitakami. Oh, god damn it. That sucks. Grandpa to the, you know, thing we found. Oh, I gotta talk to him. Good morning to you, Aaron Brad. Do all old people sound the same to you? Maybe. <laughs> hey. Hey, Aaron Brad. Good morning. He's awake, huh? Wanna go see the last signboard? Uh, Jesus Christ, Carmine. Why is he such a bitch? Kiki, go find someplace else to be. Aaron Bright's got business with me. Seriously, she's spending all her time with you. It's so unfair. You can be such a jerk. What, what did you just call me? <laughs> What's his deal? Kiki should know You're better to talk back that's to me like deal. that. <laughs> she's a Karen, that's what she is. <laughs> Enough, Carmine. Be kind to your younger brother. I was being kind. It's not like I hit yeah, him or anything. Anyway, we've got more important things to discuss. Right, Aaron Brat? Come on. You gotta show Grandpa that thing you have. <laughs> Bookworm. Oh my god. Carmine, please. Carmine, Seek therapy. Demand... <laughs> Carmine, demanding that you show her grandpa your thing. What type of thing? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You can't show the show Could this be? This mask, it belongs to that poor ogre. Where did you find this? We bumped into it, the ogre I mean, yesterday at the Festival of Masks. I tried talking to it all nice and everything, but it dropped that mask and yeah. You don't know how to be nice! I never th would have thought that the ogre would still be gracing our festival with its presence. Huh? What do you mean, still? I thought the ogre was a scoundrel and attacked the village. I suppose it's time I told you, Carmine. You see, the truth of what happened with that ogre is the other way around. The other way around? What do you mean? You should hear this too, Aunt Aaron Bry. You also met the poor ogre, or... Ogre Bond, as it's 
rightly named. Let me tell you the true story as passed down through our family for generations. I feel like her brother has more right to hear that than her. Yeah. This is gonna be a bit of a long story to tell. Is that alright? This story has been passed down in our family by word of mouth. I learned it from my father. It's a story of truths. A story that must never be told to the rest of the village. You must never speak of it to others. Okay. A long, long time ago, a man and an ogre came to Kitagami from a foreign land. The people of the village feared the man and the ogre, who looked so different from them. Oh, yes, racism. Yeah. And so they refused to let the travelers come anywhere near the village. The man and the ogre were saddened that the villagers did not welcome them. But they were happy just to have each other. They settled quietly in a cave on the mountain. There was only one villager who pitied the two travelers. The village mask maker. He made several masks for the man and the ogre. The masks were brilliant works adorned with gems. The man brought them somewhere far away. By wearing these masks, the travelers could hide their true faces and mingle with the villagers. The man and the ogre were overjoyed. They thanked the mask maker for his kindness. Wearing the mask, the man and the ogre started secretly joining the village festival. The mysterious pair soon became the talk of the village because of their brilliant masks. In fact, rumors about them quickly spread far and wide, even to distant lands. But rumors of exquisite shining masks attract more than just innocent curiosity. A group of greedy Pokemon soon made their way to the land of Kitagami. These Pokemon sneaked into the cave in which the man and ogre lived and tried to make off with the mask, which was carefully stored away. The man happened to be there. He managed to hold on to one of the masks. But he was not strong enough to protect them all. Pokemon stole the other three masks. Several hours later, when the ogre returned to the cave, it found its beloved home in ruin. All that was left were the signs of a struggle and a teal mask. They killed his person. Yeah. 
Yogur doned that mask and went down to the village, perhaps to search for its friend. It found the greedy Pokemon there gloating over their stolen mask and defeated them. The villagers, of course, had no idea what was happening or why. All they saw was the raging ogre and they felt great fear. Villagers thought the three Pokemon had fallen trying to protect the village from the ogre. To honor their sacrifice, the villagers named the, the loyal then the loyal three and interred them with care. Wounded and weak, the ogre returned to its cave alone and with great sadness. That's terrible. Ogre porn didn't deserve that. The Loyal Three, they're the worst. Stories, the story everyone's been told is the complete opposite of the truth. They gotta hear about this. Calm yourself, Carmine. I already, I told you already to keep it to yourself. But Grandpa, Villagers believed their own version of history. They revered a loyal three, so how would they react to being told that they've got it all wrong? They'd probably get angry. Exactly. Back when this all first occurred, the mask maker, that is to say, our ancestor, tried desperately to tell the truth of the matter. But nobody would take him seriously. In fact, it said he, he was persecuted as a heretic. Ooh, that really gets my blood boiling. In the end, the mask maker chose to protect his descendants, us, by keeping his mouth shut. However, he kept the truth alive, passed down from generation to generation, as a family secret. I see. Kiki doesn't know the whole story yet, does he? He shouldn't know. I've certainly never spoken to him about it. Why do you ask? I don't know. He just really seems to like the ogre. He's practically obsessed. He's been trying to one-up me, as if he knows more about Ogre Pond than I do. Well, I can't say what's going on with the boy, but he, he always was a sensitive child. I wouldn't, it wouldn't surprise me if he somehow intuited the truth. I promise to tell Kieran the whole story when the time is right. Until then, take care not to breathe a word of, of the truth to anybody. Dude, you just told my whole stream the story. <laughs> it's a bit late for that. Okay, Grandpa. Now I really can't tell Kiki we met the ogre. About that mask you showed me, I noticed that the jewel on his forehead was chipped. I might be able to fix it. Would you mind leaving me, leaving the mask with me for a little while? Oh, huh. Maybe it got chipped when it fell down the stairs. Since Grandpa's offering, let's get it all nice and fixed up before we give it back to Ogre Pond. 
I mean, we can't tell the rest of the village. We're in a different dimension. <laughs> True. Don't you worry. I'll be sure to take good care of this. 